Good morning and welcome back to Coffee Break. As you probably know, Christmas is right around the corner. Ah, I like, this time of year. I like playing with the pom pom <laughs> on my hat. So Christmas is in just a few weeks. So it's it's coming soon, but you still have some time to get your gifts if you're behind on this. I am, I, I am a little behind. I mean, I've got some ideas, but yeah. like nothing actually like bought yet. Right, so we're gonna, um, just like last year, gonna give you some ideas for what kind of gifts to get your book nerd friends, which is all of your friends, obviously. <laughs> because why would you hang out with people who aren't book nerds? I don't get it. So obviously we don't have all of the answers, but here are our few ideas for bookish Christmas gifts. So Anna, tell me one of your ideas. This Christmas is pretty much all about my nieces and nephews this year because they're all coming into town. Aww, so that's cute. gonna be like the highlight for the entire family. Yeah. Um, so I'm thinking that I will get them Brother Giovanni's little reward just kind of collectively because then we can read it and then make pretzels together because baking is also a super fun part of Christmas. Yeah. So maybe and we'll decorate pretzels. Them. Yeah, maybe we'll decorate them with like red sugar or something. <laughs> they do make that, like colored yeah, sugar. Yeah, yeah, you could do red and green. That right. would be really cute. Yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> nice. What are you getting? Oh man. Um, so I have uh, some friends who are actually going to be having their first baby. Oh, yeah, that's in, so fun. In April. So yeah, so um, I've got this book here. It's called Before You Were Born. And um, this is just like a really great book for new parents because it's all about like, you know, oh, before you were born, like, you know, this is what our lives were like, but mm -hmm. now like it's so much better with you in them and everything. Right. And like, it's just, they're really, really pretty illustrations and really lyrical prose. And it's really heartfelt, but like, it's also um, very soothing. So this is a good thing to actually break out when the baby does arrive and you right. need it to sleep. So right. I think this is going to be the gift that keeps on giving, you know? Yeah. One of my friends, one of our friends, Brianna. Oh yeah. She's in our book club. Yep. Um, she, not only is she a book nerd, but she also has always loved temporary tattoos. It's kind of awesome. I mean, who doesn't? Like, I wish, right. I wish those were more popular for adults. Now you have to get right. real ones. Okay, well, here's a resource for you. I was, I've been looking on Etsy and there are a couple different shops. One of them is Geek Tats and they have these Harry Potter temporary tattoos and nice. I think she's going to love them. So I'm going <laughs> to pick some of those out for her. I really hope none of these people are watching this video right now. All of a sudden <laughs> right. we're giving away all our ideas. <laughs> Shh. Uh, what else are you getting? Oh, um, well, my friend Shannon, uh, her son is two, going on three. Aww. Yeah, exactly. And Such he is a fun just... Age. Exactly. Like, you know, he's got tons of energy and he mm -hmm. absolutely loves to read. And so um, I'm going to get him Manger, which is like this really kind of beautiful Christmas book. And it's got tons of animals and like the poems are short, but they're still really pretty. Mm -hmm. And yeah, like this is just the kind of like... This is such a crowd pleaser, you know? It is. Who doesn't like a bunch of animals and like short, cute little poems and yeah, yeah all of this beautiful artwork, you know? Like, this is, so I'm, I'm really excited to share this with him and like maybe read some out loud. Like, yeah. I think this is gonna be a good time. Well, I do have one more book that I'm gonna give. So, mm -hmm. like I said, this is Niece and Nephew Christmas <laughs> and um, my mom is so good at reading books aloud, and I'm sure that I'm not at all biased in thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> not because she was the one reading out loud not to you. Not because she's my mom or anything. Right. <laughs> um, but I also know that as a grandma, she loves reading books to her grandkids. And Cute. I just think Roger's reading a book is just one of those really fun read-alouds. Mm -hmm. So I think that they will all have a lot of fun with this one. Yeah, there's tons of lots of like funny sound effects. Yeah, and... onomatopoeia. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Plus, you know, there's just, there's a lot to look at since, you know, a lot of my nieces and nephews can't read yet. So they <laughs> still have plenty to look at. <laughs> Are you getting anything else? Uh, yeah, yeah, my third thing actually isn't like a book book, but it's mm -hmm. book related. Right. Um, yeah, one of my best friends, Christine, actually uh, just got engaged like a couple weeks ago. Wow, big things happen. I know, everyone else is having these like monumental things and I'm just like, I will support you in them. <laughs> Nothing of my own to add. You know what the big thing happening in your life right now? Christmas. Christmas, exactly. I mean, what bigger thing needs to happen than Christmas? Right. Like this is its own thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a very 
very diplomatic way of putting it. <laughs> Thank you. I just don't want to lessen your excitement for this season. I appreciate it's that. It's a wonderful season. It is. So uh, she loves, loves wearing scarves and everything. Mm -hmm. And I found um, this really cute thing, and it might actually be on Etsy now. I can't remember where I found okay. it. Okay. But um, it's a Pride and Prejudice scarf. So it's got oh, like, yeah, like awesome. pages and things from the book. And it's all on this like really pretty scarf. And like, you know, that's like... Who doesn't love Pride and Prejudice? Right, you know, it's like right. the go-to like romantic like comedy of errors and everything. And yeah, I think that's like perfect to celebrate. You know, all of these new developments in her life. And she's got something cozy to snuggle up in when she's you know like stressing about all the wedding planning. So <laughs> right, yeah, right. yeah. It perfect. seems like yeah, it seems like a good good choice. Yeah. So hopefully this gave you some ideas of what to get your book nerd friends for Christmas. Um, but if you have your own ideas, please leave them in the comments. We would like to get more ideas. Yeah. Or yeah. let us know on Twitter, Coffee Break EBYR. Merry Christmas. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week. Okay.